today I'm back with another mega monthly preview video for you all. This is where we run down the hottest physical media titles coming out the entire month. This one being September. So we go through each of the Blu-ray Tuesdays looking at all these amazing movies coming out. And there's a ton this upcoming month. So let's get right into this list. So first Blu-ray Tuesday is September 5th. We got The Princess Bride on 4K from Criterion. This one's going to be at $34.99. Now, I already have the Blu-ray version of this one, so I don't need a double dip. But if you missed out on this one, I would say wait till the next Criterion sale and get that even at a better price. All right, next up, we got Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. A couple different editions here I'm looking at for 4Ks. The slipcover one is at $29.96, or you can go for a still book from Best Buy at $36.99. I'm going the still book just because I'm a sucker for the superhero genre still books and it just looks so cool and I really like this movie in the theaters. All right, next up we got Sleepy Hollow. Once again, some different editions here. You can go with the standard 4K for $21.98 or you can go with the still book for $29.99. Now I haven't decided which one I'm gonna get, but I probably would end up being the cheaper option. Uh, but yeah, I remember it being a very spooky movie, so perfect for October season here. And uh, you got Johnny Depp in it, so why not? All right, next up we got Night of the Comet Collector's Edition 4K. I think this one is from Scream Factory if I'm remembering. Uh, $29.99, don't know too much about this movie, but I'm guessing it's like sci-fi horror. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments if I should pick that one up. Next up, we got Matilda on 4K, an awesome looking still book here. This one I am definitely tempted by. It's around that $30 price range though, uh, but I just love this movie from my childhood. Uh, definitely want to watch it again. Next up, we got Duel, which is a Groove exclusive limited edition 4K still book. You don't see those all the time. But you can get that one for $24.99. So that's not a bad little price. And I think this one, I wonder if it actually got delayed. So if it's coming out in September or if it's delayed more than that. Uh, but yeah, if you love that movie, that's cool to get that edition. I've seen the movie once because I have it on Blu-ray. I wasn't overly impressed with it, even though it is a Spielberg title. It's more of a classic one. Um, so I don't need a double dip there. All right, next Blu-ray Tuesday, we got September 12th when we got Batman Mass of the Phantasm on 4K. You get the standard 4K for $25.99, or there's a cool looking kind of comic book edition from Best Buy at $32.99. Now, I already have this one on Blu-ray, so I don't need the double dip to 4K on an animated title here, but it is a very good Batman movie. If you've never seen it, I can recommend the pickup. All right, next up, we got The Last House on the Left 2009 version. 50% off with the Aero sale going on right now, so you can get it at $24.99, lock in that pre-order price. If you're going to go for that movie, I recommend doing that. Don't let the sale end. All right, next up, we got Walkabout from the Criterion Collection at $34.99. Now, I've never seen this movie. The cover does kind of look intriguing, uh, but I will have to skip it for now. All right, next up, we got Shrek the Third on 4K. This one, of course, is one of the Shrek titles. Is it one of the best Shrek titles? I don't think so. Actually, I think it might be my least favorite here. Um, it's okay, but yeah, I don't need a 4K animated uh, disc of this one. I already have a Blu-ray anyway, so I'm good on that one. All right, next up, one I do actually want is Kick-Ass 2 on 4K. You can get the standard 4K for $21.99 or the still book for $29.99. I'm a sucker for those superhero still books. You all know, and I do like the artwork here. I like the spray paint color. It just looks very popping to me, uh, so I have to get this one. And it's such an awesome movie. Very fun. All right, next up, we got Air on Blu-ray, $24.99. Uh, this is the Ben Affleck-directed movie. He also is a star in it. You have an amazing cast, Viola Davis, Chris Tucker, Matt Damien, so many more. And I really like this movie. It was all about the business dealings of Air Jordans. Saw in theaters. Can highly recommend. Wish they had a 4K, but a Blu-ray will suffice. All right, next up, we got Ghoulies 2-Disc Collector's Edition. I believe this is the MVD, uh, like, laser disc looking edition here for $33.49. Yeah, too high of a price for me. I think I saw Ghoulies maybe one time on TV a long time ago. Uh, don't need to get this one in the collection at this point. All right, next up, we got the Smile Still Book on 4K, $27.99. 
uh, yeah, yeah, kind of a high price there, especially when you can get the standard 4K edition a lot cheaper. That one, I believe, dropped in price. So maybe I'll go back and get the previous one. Because overall, I did like the movie. It was better than I expected when I saw it in theaters. But it's just not one I need a still book on uh, right away. All right, next up, we got September 19th. And we got The Exorcist. 50th anniversary edition theatrical and extended director's cut we got the regular uh, slip cover 23.79 and then you got the still book 34.99 now i don't like how the slip cover looks it's just a weird looking picture it doesn't entice me to get it uh, but the still book is pretty hefty on the price i mean come on is this a superhero movie now so uh, i am torn on this one i really want to see this movie because i've actually never seen it it's on my get to list but I'm going to have to wait for a price drop here on one of these. All right, next up, we got the trial from the Criterion Collection at $34.99. And yeah, I heard the kind of stay away from this one, that it may not be everybody's cup of tea or what you're expecting. So I can definitely skip over that one and save some money. All right, next up, we got the Last Dragon still book here for $29.99. This looks to be like a really cool looking edition. I've never seen this movie. I'm guessing it's a martial arts movie. Haven't seen many of those. I need more of those eventually, but for now I can skip it. All right, next up we got the Toxic Avenger collection for $99.99. So about a hundred bucks, but I think there's four Toxic Avenger movies in there. Now I've never seen these. Of course I love the superhero genre, but I hear these are a lot different than the standard superhero movie. You know, it's a trauma kind of movie, so it's a way different kind of flair. Uh, I probably don't need to pick it up day one. I guessing it's gonna get price dropped eventually, fingers crossed, uh, but maybe in the future. All right, next up we got the Lost City of Z on 4K for $29.99. I think this one might be from a uh, Shout Factory, Scream Factory here. I uh, had never seen this one, and I don't know what is it about Z. I'm guessing is it about zombies. That's my only guess there. You guys will have to let me know about it in the comments. All right, next up we got Rangu limited edition i don't even know if i said that correctly but it's 34.99 i believe this one is from arrow so it's a collection here i'm guessing or is it just the first rengu title that i need clarification on um but anyway this is what the you know came before the ring it's a, a foreign language movie uh, the ring was like the united states remake of this one from what i understand uh so i don't need this in the collection i'm not as much into foreign language films especially on a blind buy so i'm gonna stay away from it at that price all right next up we got fall uh still book version on 4k that you can get off of best buy for 21.99 believe this is a Lionsgate release that's why it's such a good price um, I like the way this one looks. I saw the movie in theaters and I was pleasantly surprised. And for it being such a cheap price, I might go after it. And it's fall season. Gotta pick it up, right? All right, next up, we got Natural Born Killers, Collector's Edition, some different editions here, right? You got the 4K uh, standard uh, $29.99 one, or you can do the still book from Best Buy for $32.99. Wow, with it only being a what a few bucks more you might as well get the still book looking at those prices again yeah i would recommend doing that if you really want this movie i've never seen this movie would be a blind buy heard great things but probably not going to pick it up day one all right next up we got september 26 and wow there was a lot of titles here i'm just going to go over the top ones we got my bloody valentine uh the one from 1981 4k collector's edition uh, $32.99, whoo, that, uh, that's not a price I, I like, um, and I believe this is from Screen Factory just doing a 4K release, uh, I guess a re-release of this title, but now in the upgraded format, already have the Blu-ray Steelbook, I really like this Steelbook edition, I don't need this one on 4K, I like the movie overall, but I don't love it, so I, I don't need to pay that price to double dip there, all right, next up we got I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, 4K, $27.99, and I think this one doesn't come with a slipcover, which I'm pretty disappointed in. Not going to pay first day price for that one, especially without the cover. And even though I really like the release of the first one they did not so long ago, had tons of great special features. Um, hopefully they did the same treatment on this one. But I think this one's going to drop in price in about, you know, what, a few weeks to a month? Probably drop at least five bucks or so. I'll wait. All right, next up, we got Moonage uh, Daydream from the Criterion Collection, 
never seen this one. Is this the one that has a David Bowie in it? Maybe, uh, but no interest in this one at all. Next up, we got La Bamba from the Criterion Collection, $27.99. Now, this one here is just a Blu-ray, but I have seen this movie before and I actually quite liked it. Um, I, I will wait for the sale, of course, though. Once we get to that Criterion sale price, that is one I might pick up. I do like the cover on it, too. Uh, next up, we got Carlito's Way on 4K. I believe this one's from Arrow. $39.99. Ooh, that's a hefty price. That one's not discounted right now. I wish it was. I already have a Blu-ray steelbook of this one, though, so I don't need a double dip here to upgrade the format. But it is a really good, uh, solid crime drama movie if you've never seen it. All right, next up, we got Elemental. And you can get the still book out there from Best Buy for $39.99. While wow, those Disney prices are outrageous. I believe they do have a slipcover version of it on Disney Movie Club. Um, if you belong to that, that is the way I might go. Because I do actually want this Pixar title in the collection. I really liked it. It's a funny rom-com. That animation is excellent. So, yeah, it was a surprise at the theaters for me. I want to check it out again. All right, next up, we got the Fifth Element still book. This one's being uh, re-released here, $29.99. Sony's doing a lot of these re-releases. This one looks super cool. Don't have it in the collection, but I don't want to pay that price. I think it will get discounted eventually. And they're also, like, re-releasing Ghostbuster 1 and 2 still book. They're also re-releasing uh, Equalizer still book, I believe. Uh, so when those prices dropped, I will consider them. All right, next up, we got School of Rock Blu-ray, $18.59. That's the price I like to see, even though it's only Blu-ray. The still book looks really cool, and I just love this movie. Growing up, I would always watch this one. Jack Black is great in this movie, but just everybody else in the music's fantastic. Uh, you can't go wrong with that soundtrack, so I need that in my collection. All right, next up, we got Halloween H2O, Halloween 20 Years Later, still book, 4K. $26.32. It's not a terrible price, but I already have a 4K of this in that Scream Factory box set they released not too long ago. Um, so I don't like them just doing a, a re-release uh, so close to each other. Even though I know this is Paramount's movie, they still license out the Scream Factory one, of course. So I don't know. It feels a little sketchy to me. I did a whole rant video on this one. But yeah, if I didn't have it, I'd be all over it because I do like the way this still books looks. But no double dipping for me. Uh, but there we go. Those are the Blu-ray Tuesdays, the hottest physical media titles. Now you guys let me know in the comments below which ones are you looking forward to picking up. And also if you do decide to get any of these, please go through my Amazon affiliate links in the description below even to pre-order these titles because it does give credit to my channel and I greatly appreciate it. And if you love collecting physical media just like me, make sure you subscribe right now. That way I can keep you entertained and up to date on all the latest physical media topics. Do it again. In time. No, no. And if you enjoy these physical media topics, check out another one right now. And thank you so much, my mega membership supporters.